We've got one of these super teams every year, and I think this year it's got to be the Tartarus Titans. You got a few guys over from Radiance, Benji in the solo lane, Aurora and Cyclone spin over in the duo lane. Then you add Paul, then you add Scary D. This team looks fantastic on paper. They'll round out my top three as far as predictions go. I think they're gonna come out of the gates hot and they're gonna be a very difficult team to take down. You get this duo lane that we've been seeing for years find a lot of success in Cyclone Spin and Aurora. I expect they're gonna continue doing exactly what they've been doing, dominating the duo lane and really causing a lot of fear. You have to think about the support play. Cyclone is really good at bringing in ADCs and carries that are not necessarily the meta and still making them look good. I mean, Aurora and Cyclone Spin are gonna be fine. That is a packaged duo lane. We know what they can do. My big question mark's gotta be in the jungle. Scary D is moving from solo to jungle, and I don't know if that's the easiest transition from having your own dedicated lane with all this farm to now setting the pace on this huge new season eight jungle. I'm sure Scary D is mechanically up to the task, but how quickly can he react to what all these other top tier junglers are doing and can he make sure he puts his team in the best spot to succeed? The other thing that I'm worried about for the Titans is that you look at what they have on their team, it's not really thought of as a very communication heavy squad. Aurora, definitely a leader in game, gonna be calling things out. Benji, for how quiet he is on camera, from what I'm told behind the scenes, actually is a pretty good in-game leader, gonna give you a lot of shot calling. But from what I've heard, Paul, Scary, not necessarily the most talkative players. They're more locked in and focused on hitting their abilities, which isn't a problem necessarily, but when your mid-jungle isn't going to be communicating as much as the enemy mid-jungle, you are at a huge information disadvantage. And this Tartarus Titans team is absolutely no one to scoff at. You look at Paul, his performance, over in the mid lane throughout the world championship run that the Pittsburgh Knights had. I'm hard pressed to think of any other mid laner I'd want on my team. You put him in the mid lane, I think surrounded by these four great guys, even if you take in the fact that Scary is gonna be quote unquote new to jungle for this time around, I think Paul is gonna be enough to make this a top four team easily. Add in Cyclone Spin and Aurora, add in the fact that you've got Benji over there in the solo lane, you've got Cherio as a coach, like this team was built for success. I hope we get to hear a little bit as the season progresses about what Cherry is doing as the coach for this Titan squad. I mean, obviously he's gonna be working with Scary a lot on what to do in that jungle as that's where Cherry is, is really most experienced. But, but don't forget that Cherry has played support in the past and he's played the game at such a high level for so long. And I think Cherry is one of the best minds Smite has ever seen for the game. What perspective can he bring to this Titans roster? You add that into Aurora, who I think is also one of the, the best minds might have seen and one of the most creative players in the entire league. I'm excited to see what Aurora and Cherio are gonna kinda cook up. Whether it's phase one, phase two, phase three, world championships, this team is going to be competing. They will be playing later on in all of these playoff events, and they might even have the chance to win a couple. It's all on Scary D though. His ability to convert himself into that jungle role, find pressure for his lanes, Get Paul ahead maybe, gives you a little extra boost in your probability to win some of these matchups. That's the key to this Tartarus Titans team. So I think there's a lot of weight on Scary D to be successful and a lot of weight on Paul to continue what he was able to showcase he can do at Worlds. If you can find that trajectory, the Tartarus Titans are going to easily escalate to the top two of the league and, and have a hard time falling down from there.